we're going to use our knowledge about moles molar ratio to do, do some stoichiometry. These are the three things that we'll figure out today. The meaning reactant, theoretical yield, and excess reactant. We're going to look at this reaction here. C6H12O6 plus 6O2 yields 6CO2 plus 6H2O. Before you start, make sure the equation you're working with is balanced. Notice here, these are all balanced. You are given that C6H12O6 has one gram available in the beginning of the reaction, and oxygen has 3.00 grams that will be available in the beginning of the reaction. The first step to calculating the limiting reactant is to make sure all amounts are in moles. To figure out the molar mass of glucose, take the given amount and multiply it by the molar mass and you get 0 0.0056. To figure out the moles of oxygen, you take the given amount multiply it by the molar mass to get 0 0.9375. These are the amount of reactants that was available at the beginning of the reaction. The second step is choosing a product to which you will convert the reactants to. In this case, I will use H2O water. Using molar ratio given in the equation, you convert each amount of reactant to the product. Here we have 0 0.009 moles of H2 produced from the, amount, the available amount of glucose at the beginning of the reaction and 0 0.09 moles of water produced from the O2 reactant. Because glucose yields the least amount of products, or H2O in this case, it means that it is the limiting reactant. Yay. Since glucose is the limiting reactant, it would make oxygen to be the excess reactant. Now that we have found the limiting reactant, we can use it to find the theoretical yield of the products and the excess reactants that were used in the reaction. We multiply the given amount of moles of glucose, the limiting reactant, use molar ratio to find how much products of H2O is yield. In this case, it's 9.26 times 10 to the 4 moles of H2O. Likewise, we take the given moles of the limiting reactant, use mole ratio to find the amount of product of CO2 produced. Taking the limiting reactant using mole ratio to find how much of the excess reactant, the oxygen, was used in the reaction. Now you know how to find the limiting reactant, the theoretical yield, and the excess reactant of any given chemical reaction that you will come across with. So, impress your chemical te chemistry teacher.